T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. We have ignition and liftoff of the United Launch Alliance Atlas V rocket carrying USSF-51 for the United States Space Force on ULA's 100th National Security Mission. Hydraulics look good. We are throttling down in preparation for Max Q. Everything looking good. P is a close loop control. And little program did complete on time. Mach 1. Vehicle is now supersonic. Engine continues to operate normally. SRB is burning normally. Everything looking good. You are hearing the voice of Rob Gannon providing launch vehicle ascent data. And Max Q. We're throttling up post Max Q as expected. Everything looking good following expected profile. SRB is burning normally. RD-180 operating expected throttle level. Everything looking good. Body weights look good. We have now throttled down in preparation for SRB burnout. We are now 50% of our liftoff weight. SRB is rolling off. And we have SRB burnout. 10 seconds to SRB jettison. SRB jet. All five SRBs successfully jettisoned the vehicle. RD-180 is throttled up and operating normally. Everything looking good. Right now, 34 miles in altitude, 36 miles downrange, traveling at 4,200 miles per hour. Quick review of our range track. Vehicles proceeding right down the center of the range track. Everything looking good. And we did enable closed loop steering a few seconds ago. Everything looks good there. Next event we're looking for is throttling down to a constant 2.5 G limit for payload fairing jettison. And we've begun the throttle down, now holding a constant 2.5 Gs in preparation for fairing jet. And we fired the power valve, we're act activating the reaction control system on the second stage. And we just passed through the Von Karman line. 25% of liftoff weight. Ten seconds to fairing jet. We have fairing jettison. And CLFR deck jettison.